that anyone who didn't applaud his State of the Union address was treasonous. Listen. Anybody who didn't stand up and clap for him was un-American and then maybe even treasonous? I they mean, say it was tongue-in-cheek. Democrats can't take a joke. Well, let me tell you, he's a joke. Let's bring in Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. Uh, Matt, what do you think about Biden's comments? I think it's true that we should stop calling people traitors. The Democrats have spent the last year calling Donald Trump a traitor, saying he colluded with Russia. You know, your coverage on this, uh, this dossier, you know, we spent a lot of time throwing around the T word, the treason word, and I think the president was putting it right back in their face that uh, it's not, a, it's, it's an unkind charge. And, uh, and, you know, maybe what we ought to do is start working together better uh, in this country to solve our problems. I'm not sure how many people are, are throwing around the word treasonous in the coverage, the reporters at least, uh, but th that's a bit of a, a conflation. I agree. A bit, no, no, I didn't mean, I didn't mean I, I, to make fine. that charge. Okay, yeah. uh, but it is a bit of, of a conflation. Uh, the dossier is alleging Russian coordination during the election, basically a usurping of, of democratic uh, sovereignty. This is Donald Trump saying they didn't clap for me. That's Tre treasonous. Treason. The dossier, which is, which is unsubstantiated by the FBI's own uh, internal conversations is accusing Donald Trump of treason, which is not accurate and has dominated our politics for a year. And it is un it, it just seems ridiculous to all of a sudden well, bring up the the uh, concept that Donald Trump is raising this term treason. He is the one who's been charged with it by almost every elected Democrat for a year. Let's talk about Mueller. And, and frankly, we don't know what uh, Robert Mueller has been able to s substantiate in that dossier or not substantiate because we haven't heard directly from but Robert we don't Mueller. Know. We don't know. But we don't right. know. We do not know. Um, That's right. Uh, do you think the president should, there's this reporting in the New York Times earlier in the week that Trump's lawyers uh, do, do not want him to um, sit down with special counsel Robert Mueller because he's at risk of perjuring himself. Uh, do you think he should sit down? It's not because they think he's at risk of perjuring himself. It's because anybody in America who, who were to sit down with a special prosecutor is running a very large risk that they could be accused of perjury. Think of Mike Flynn, Katie. Mike Flynn is accused of saying something that the FBI views as not similar to what he said in another conversation, not with the FBI, not under oath, not having anything to do with perjury, it takes, it's the FBI's opinion that you even give a slightly different answer that can lead to a misdemeanor immediately. So that's what they call a perjury trap, and I think every good lawyer would be reticent to put their client in that situation. Well, the FBI was asking Flynn about conversations he had with a Russian ambassador. He told the FBI, and this is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he told the FBI uh, that he did not have a conversation about sanctions when the FBI heard him talking about sanctions. But, but moving on from that, um, you, you're talking but, about a perjury trap. If Donald Trump has nothing to hide, and, and if he just tells the truth, he how can he perjure hide. himself? He has nothing to hide because of what I just described, which is, uh, let's go back to the, the reason why we have a special counsel is because there was a charge that was collusion with Russia. No one has a scintilla of evidence that there was the, uh, or that Mueller has any evidence of any collusion. Now the question is, is it, is it a fishing expedition to find anything, something, give me something on Donald Trump so that we can charge him with something, including, including what they charged Mike Flynn wa with, which is not perjury. It is saying one thing to one person and another version to the FBI that the FBI views as well, not similar enough. Well, you can't lie to federal investigators. There's that. Uh, but we don't know what and the And I don't Mueller think you should. By the way, I don't want to. If he, if he did, you shouldn't do that. I don't want to justify don't, that. We don't, we don't know what the Mueller investigation is going to come up with. Let's make that clear. We have no idea. But we do know that there's already been two indictments and there's already been two guilty pleas. So that is something to say that this investigation is not a big nothing burger. Not Nothing because having to do with collusion. There. Nothing we having to do yet. with collusion. We don't know yet. No, no, we no, don't no. Know yet. no, this is a fact. None of those indictments have anything to do with Russian collusion. It has to do with Manafort and Gates with activities before they had they were involved with Donald Trump and with Lieutenant General Mike Flynn. It has to do with what I've described twice, and it is well, not perjury let's and it is see, not let's a crime. See what else Robert Mueller comes out with. Um, That's right. But do you think that I mean, if you read the New York Times article and if you talk to those who know Donald Trump, and I talk to those who know Donald Trump all the time, people have known him for a long time. The real concern is that he's not disciplined enough uh, to testify under oath. The real concern is that Donald Trump says so many things that are not true on a daily basis uh, that he cannot be trusted or is, is too much of a risk to sit down uh, with a special counsel. It's not you or me sitting down with a special counsel. It's Donald Trump who says oftentimes verifiably false, uh, you know, many hours Look, I, during I, the day. 
I, I don't agree with that, but I do think that Donald Trump uh, runs a risk if he sits down with Mueller, if Mueller has it in for him. Now, look, I worked with Bob Mueller. I respect Bob Mueller. I'm going to continue to believe that he's going to do right by the country and only pursue wrongdoing if there's wrongdoing. That being said, I do think after a year of this special counsel and the way this has all gone down, I can understand. Donald Trump's lawyers being reticent to think that he's going to get a fair shake because there's been nothing fair hmm. about this for a year. I think we're all curious to find out what happens next. Uh, Matt Schlapp, really good.